समन वो जिस ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ओल्ड सेकेंड वेंचर्स का फेल हो चुका है दो बार पैसे डूब चुके हैं रेस्टोरेंट में काम कर रहे हैं पढ़ाई हो नहीं रही इंजीनियरिंग हो नहीं रही है इससे बिजनेस भी नहीं कर पा रहे लाइक वॉट विल आई डू फॉर रेस्ट ऑफ लाइफ एलाइ मनाए ऑल द मई दैट आई बॉलो दैट वॉज अराउंड एटी थाउजेंड रुपीज इट ऑल फेल ड्रास्टिकली ऑल द मनी वॉज लॉस्ट एवरी थिंग वॉज गिवन अप जस्ट लेफ्ट एट न्यू डेली रेलवे स्टेशन प्लेटफॉर्म ऑन द सेकेंड डे आई स्लेप्ट एट इस्कॉन टेम्पल के आसपास डेली में लोटस टेम्पल उसके पास जो पार्क है ऑन द प्रिंच डाउन दैट दिस वॉज वैन आई थॉट टू मैसूर ओके केस नॉट एवरी थिंग इज नॉट ओवर यू स्टिल हैव समथिंग विद यू स्टिल हैव सम स्पार्क विद यू यू स्टिल कैन एक्चुअली अचीव समथिंग इन लाइफ एंड दैट वॉज यूरे का मोमेंट फॉर मी बिकॉज एट दैट I still remember those days when I used to sit at a cemetery contemplating my life and was just thinking that this is the worst that can happen to me. I mean I I was uh, I just had rupees 228 in my pocket and my two first startup had failed. I was in debt and I was 20 years old and I was not even succeeding in my engineering studies. Hi I am Keshav I'm inventor of Bike Blazer and co-founder of a Delhi based startup Saitenebi Private Limited. We are a manufacturing company and we manufacture the world's only semi-automatic two-wheeler commuter devices. So today I'll be sharing my story. I was a below average student in school and I remember once that uh, at a parents teacher meeting, my mathematics teacher told to my parents ki ye nalaik hai, isse kuch hoga nahi, aap log isse paise barbaad kar rahe ho. Rehen do nahi ho paega, jitna pad sakta utna hi padega, that's it. There is nothing, no scope for him, he cannot achieve anything in life. So academically, I did not really perform very well in my school days, and uh, this is. Uh, I, but I always was into something new. I always was into creating my own things. Maybe some simple machines like uh, electric motor made at home, uh, opening up batteries, making some simple circuits at home, water heater, etc. But unfortunately, as I was weak in academics, I did not really score uh, very well in my twelfth grades, and this is why uh, I could not even crack my IIT and got in a very unknown college, engineering college. But I was pretty happy that at least I got in my college. and i'll be doing something pursuing something which i love so in the first semester itself i realized that all these uh, expectations my uh, desires uh, my uh, uh, my uh, enthusiasm was really very short lived because it was all smoked away engineering was nothing but extended version of 11th and 12th science and pretty soon i actually started losing interest in all of it but one day what uh, one day we, i mean uh, as we all do in college life we all chill out in cafes right we chill out in college canteen so a friend of circle was sitting over there we were sitting there and we were just discussing about life and uh, all those things but gradually a conversation ended up with a business idea and we all got very excited on this one so i'll just brief it about what my business idea was uh, we were we were just uh, looking forward to make a virtual college website I mean, it was a website where everything about college would be available there, and no one would had really have to you know come to college physically to access the notes, the lectures, the videos, the books, and etc. So we all start work, all start working on this one, and we contacted our professors, our administration, management of college. They all appreciated us. They all were saying, "Yes, this is great. We should do this thing," but they none of them actually supported us with resources or even some money. So, but we were still very energetic. We so we thought of ourselves that. खुद के पैसे लगाते हैं पॉकेट मनी से लगाते हैं वी एटलीस्ट गेट द वेबसाइट लाइव ऑल दिस वी वी वर डूइंग ऑल दिस थिंग बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली इट कुड नॉट सक्सीड ऑल ऑल द मनी ऑल द एफर्ट्स वर ऑल इन वेन बिकॉज द इंथोजियाजम दैट वी ऑल हैड इन द बिगनिंग एक्चुअली फेरेड अवे पेडी क्विकली सो ऑल द मनी दैट यू पोट इन ऑल द एफर्ट्स दैट यू पोट इन जिस जिस ऑल इन वेन Uh, now this was a time when I thought to myself that maybe there is something wrong with me. I think maybe maybe I should just hone my skills and work on a management stuff and just get to know how to actually run a company or run a business. So what I did was in my uh, summer vacations of the college uh, that we have around a month or two uh, two's time, I thought of maybe joining a company and interning somewhere. But unfortunately, as I was weak in my academics, I did not really score well. No company would give me a, a job or maybe internship. So what I did was decided to. work at a junk food a fast food chain restaurant and uh, uh, i worked there for around 40 days or 45 days less than 2 months and uh, after that i realized that okay uh, the things that i learned they were pretty actually helpful so i learned how to deal with customers i learned how to make someone smile uh, uh, face problems uh, how to actually face angry customer how to actually look after people and just work in a company in a systemized organized manner so uh, after gaining all the skills all the knowledge i thought to myself okay fine Now let's start with another venture because I already had lost interest in my engineering studies and uh, my uh, academics were anyway suffering. After a few months, I came up with another business idea, which was of a mobile application. And uh, 
This time I thought, okay, fine, let's do it a little seriously because this is uh, my second venture. I do not really want it to fail. So I pulled in some money of my savings that I uh, uh, had from this working at a restaurant. Um, and I also asked my um, friends to pull in some money to, uh, to start this venture again. Cutting long story short, even this one failed drastically. All the money that I borrowed, that was around 80,000 rupees, it all failed drastically. All the money was lost, everything was given up. And this was the rock bottom of my life. I really thought to myself, pehla venture failed, ho gaya. college was 18 years old. Now I'm 20 years old, I'm going to be 20 years old. Second venture failed, ho gaya. Paise chuke hai. so this second venture also failed. And I was just thinking to myself, ki ye to ab garbad ho chuki hai. I've hit the rock bottom of my life. And someone who's just 20 years old, second ventures ka fail ho chuka hai. Do bar paise doob chuka hai. Restaurant mein kaam kar raha hai. Padai ho nahi Engineering ho nahi rahi hai. Business bhi nahi kar pa raha hai. Like, what will I do for the rest of life till I'm alive? So ab maine socha ki, theek hai, fine. Apna ko kuch break dete hain. Aur uh, maine backpack liya, shoes pehne. Ghar se zyada nahi, kyunki paise bachi thai mere paas. So I just took around, 450 rupees ke aasam ne apne ghar se liye and I went out. Mene backpack leke apne shahir mein Delhi ke aasam se ko gumne lag gaya tha. So I went out for 4 days only. I gave myself just 4 days ka time ki chaha din mein apne zindagi ko dekhte hain ki kaise aage karna, what to do next. And uh, in those 4 days, the first day when I went out in the evening, I thought, it actually just struck me ki mein sohunga gaan raat ko. And that was really a shocking point for me kyunki mein jal baazi mein bhaar to aage ki kuch karna life mein sochte apne aapko time dete hain for self discovery and everything. But then I realized, ki, okay, where can I sleep now? That was a shocking point for me. So on the first day, I slept at uh, New Delhi Rail uh, Railway Station's platform. On the second day, I slept at uh, Iskon Temple, ke aaspa, Delhi mein, Lotus Temple, uske paas jo park hai. on the benches, I slept on that. And usme bhi kya hota tha? Uh, once I remember, ki ek police wale raat ko tha, I think it was around uh, 2 or 3 o'clock in the night, and he kicked me. He said, what are you doing here? not allowed. Nahi hai. And this is uh, railway station. Ki baat hai. So he asked me for a platform ticket. And I uh, didn't have to travel so much, I didn't have to go to the So I was shocked to ask, what is the platform ticket? Kya hota? What is that? I don't know. The uh, big thing was that he took me as a bribe from me as a bribe from me. And now this was like literally a moment when I had tears in my eyes, that I got out of 450 rupees from home. I gave 200 rupees from a bribe. Now I'm left with just 250 rupees in a pocket. I mean, that was literally the point when I thought to myself, Keshav, you are dead now. There's nothing you can do now. Engineering is zero. You're already in debt. You have to pay money back. You're 20 years old. You don't have a college degree. You are, you're just 12th pass. Good for a conductor. That's it. You're over now. Khatam. That's it. You cannot do anything in your life. So this is when I um, went to a cemetery and just uh, sat there and just thinking about my life and spent some time there. During this, uh, during these four days ka time that I gave to myself, I, uh, uh, I did not really have money. So save 250 rupees. Pass. So what I uh, used to do was used to survive on uh, Paliji packets. I used to drink water and I should just uh, take Paliji and dip in them so that kuch gila gila, kuch energy mil So I literally survived on those two rupees ka Paliji packets on for the, literally for four days, nothing else. Now on the fourth final day, when I was uh, uh, coming back home, my journey was, oh, I thought to myself, okay, fine, char din ho chuk hai. But still those four days were no good. They were literally no useful to me. I could not really understand my life. I could not understand ke next future kya hone wala hai. Jaango, to kya karunga. So I was sitting in this metro station parking bay and uh, two wheeler parking bay better tha mein with my head down and uh, I saw a fat guy walking in. He came to came uh, near to his bike, I think, and he asked me if he bikes for doing He started to, you know, look around the bikes. I thought maybe he's trying to steal something. But then what he did was he took a bike se ek duster nikala and apni bike ko pura saaf karne lage, everything. Like it was dirty, shat puri din park rahi hogi. just uh, cleaned up his entire bike and then took the duster with him and went away. And I thought to myself, wow, what a man, man. He's stealing dusters. And that was a eureka moment for me because at that time I said something to myself that was, what if this guy had a portable bike cover? Boom. For me, that was a eureka moment, a, a voila moment that, okay, now I have another idea to pursue. So this was when I thought to myself, okay, Kesh, not everything is not over. You still have something with you, you still have some spark with you. You still can actually achieve something in life. So uh, this, this energy was more than enough for me to just start off again. I contacted my friends again, I uh, convinced few of the others guys to maybe just uh, give me some money, give me some loan again. And uh, of course they all were hesitant in this one, that you have already paid money, you have not paid money, and you are asking again for the money. I gathered around 1 lakh rupees. Hesitantly they gave me the money, and I thought to myself, okay, now we are starting the third venture. Now this, this, this is it, this is the last thing that I can do now. 
आई स्टार्टेड माई ओन वेंचर गॉड इट पैटेंटेड अब मैंने प्रोडक्ट को लॉन्च करा मार्केट में बट दिस इज नॉट द स्टोरी दिस इज नॉट द एंड ऑफ द स्टोरी हैविंग अ बिजनेस आइडिया एंड परसुइंग एंड एग्जीक्यूटिंग अ बिजनेस इज टोटली अ डिफरेंट थिंग आपके पास एक आइडिया आया था पैसे आ गए आप उसको कैसे एग्जीक्यूट करते हो वो वो सबसे ज्यादा बड़ा इवल है उससे बड़ा डीमन कोई है ही नहीं सो फॉर द फर्स्ट ईयर दिस दिस दैट वॉज अ वेरी टफ पैच डफी पैच फॉर मी फॉर द फर्स्ट ईयर ऑफ अ वेंचर आई एक्चुअली वॉज मैनुफैक्चरिंग फ्रॉम माई टेरेस अपने घर की छत के ऊपर बैठ के हम लोग अपने डिवाइस को मैनुफैक्चर कर रहे थे धूप है आंधी है बारिश है ऑल दोज थिंग्स वे वी यूज टू जस्ट मैनेज दैन सम हाउ विद सम तार पुलिस कवरिंग द इंटायर एरिया एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स वे बट वी वर्क इन डेली डे एंड नाइट एंड वॉट आई न्यू वॉज की नो मैटर वॉट हैपन्स आई कैन नॉट जस्ट गिव अप ऑन दिस थिंग प्रोडक्ट में था मैं प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व कर रहा है लोगों को जरूरत है इसकी आई हैव टू जस्ट मास्टर दिस थिंग सो वट आई डिट वॉज पहले अच्छा जब आप नई चीज़ मार्केट में लॉन्च करते हो यू रियली हैव टू वर्क ऑन कि प्रोडक्ट फिट हो रहा है कि नहीं हो रहा है एक्सेप्ट हो रहा है कि नहीं हो रहा है सो वी वर्क ऑन द वर्जन वन लोगों ने फीडबैक मिला कुछ से लोगों ने यूज़ करा देन द वर्जन टू देन वर्जन थ्री देन वर्जन फोर दिस वॉर द फाइनल वन एंड दिस इज दन दैट एक्चुअली गेम मी द गेम मी काइंड ऑफ लिटिल सक्सेस मॉनिटिव वाइज सो वर्जन फोर द फाइनल प्रोडक्ट ऑफ बाइक ब्लेजर इज एक्चुअली द वन जिससे हमें वाइडली सक्सेसफुल हुआ था विच वॉज एक्चुअली एक्सेप्टेड ऑल ओवर इंडिया एंड स्पेशली बाय द टारगेट ऑडियंस जिनको हम टारगेट कर रहे थे सो नॉट फ्रॉम द सीट कैपिटल कैपिटल ऑफ वन लाख रुपीज़ टू नाउ एवरी थ्री क्वार्टर्स एवरी थ्री मंथ्स टर्न ओवर टर्निंग टचिंग ओवर फिफ्टी लाख रुपीज वी हैव मोर दैन फिफ्टी थाउजेंड कस्टमर्स ऑल ओवर इंडिया एंड एब्रॉड सो फॉर सम वन हु वॉज वेरी बिलो एवरेज इन स्कूल अकेडमिक्स सो सम वन बेली पास इन इंजीनियरिंग एग्जाम्स एंड एंड अ ट्वेंटी ईयर ओल्ड गाय हु वॉज इन डेट ऑलरेडी टू नाउ सम वन हु इज रनिंग अ कंपनी विच टर्न ओवर इज मोर दैन फिफ्टी लाख रुपीज एवरी क्वार्टर one thing i i learned or one thing i uh, i can uh, say about from journey is i never quit if one thing is not working out you fail at that point you don't stop at that thing you try to do something else maybe you like, hit the rock bottom or shayad apni life mein uh, kuch moments aise aayenge aur zarur aayenge jisme aapko lagta hai you are hopeless you are actually feeling the why am i doing this thing uh, i really cannot survive anymore mm, this is the worst that can happen to me don't give up if one thing is not working one road is not for you maybe the other road is for you but just keep on trying keep on pro, uh, you know pursuing things keep on just just working just just try new things and kuch na kuch kahin na kabhi kaam kar hi jayega aisa nahi ki you will just always be a failure failure success comes to those those who taste failures but never quit quitting is not an option quitting ke baad everything stops so just don't quit thank you tell us what you think about this video and don't forget to like share and subscribe